how do you work at home with a baby? Okay, I have a baby. I have a two-year-old and I have another little girl on the way. So I have a lot of experience about how to work at home with a baby and I'm gonna be going over in this video how you can work at home with a baby, whether you can send them to daycare or whether you just can't. Ah, I can't stand when it cries like that. I just have to go over and coddle it. And I don't want to get fired from my job. Working at home with a baby is hard, okay? I work at home with a baby and it can get frustrating sometimes because sometimes you just have to drop everything you're doing, not drop the baby. You have to drop everything you're doing to take care of your kid. You can't work a normal job or career and it's frustrating and maddening. Now, one thing that if you can send your kid to childcare, to daycare, obviously you can basically work any job you want. So I'm not really going to be addressing that scenario. Now, if you want to know how you can work at home, but you still have, you have your baby in daycare, you know, I have a video where I show you how you can find, you know, different websites you can use to find remote jobs. But I'm not going to be addressing that anymore. I want to address the scenario of where you have a baby at home where you'll have to drop everything and possibly attend to it and you still want to try to make money. Very important, very honorable. Now, first off, there are a few things which you want to keep in mind. Let's start with what jobs you can't do. You can't do hourly based jobs. There's a lot of remote work opportunities, but I'm just talking about within remote work opportunities, you can't do hourly based work, such as customer service or sales. Jobs where you can't just drop everything to take care of a customer's issue or to close a deal, you know, you can't do that if you have a baby. If you're an entrepreneur, jobs you can't do are social media marketing agency. If you've seen Sam Ovens or Ty Lopez or heard of these guys, you can't start a social media marketing agency because that requires you to do sales and or customer service. And it's important. You're there when your clients are having issues. So you can't do that sort of business. Other jobs you can't do if you're working at home with a baby are real estate. Okay, again, you have to show up for appointments. There are time constrictions on that. You can't do stock trading. Again, stock trading requires you to be on the ball or else you'll lose lots of money. And another thing you can't do is MLM or network marketing. Network marketing, again, is appointment based. You'll need to be there for your downline, whatever, your customers, you know, your shows, et cetera. You can't drop everything. So what does that leave you with? That actually marks out a lot of stuff, but that does leave you with a lot of opportunities. Some opportunities that you are left with. One, if you're going for jobs, you can do project based jobs. Again, project or performance based jobs. I'm talking about you can do marketing, commission only marketing jobs such as affiliate marketing. You can do Amazon. You can run an Amazon business, an e-commerce business. Okay, but you need to do things, jobs or self-employment activities that are purely based on just online work or based on projects. Coding and development is also a great option. Now let's look at some websites where you can find some of these jobs. So first off, if you know programming, you have a lot of options in the world. And here's a website, I'm assuming most of you don't know programming, but I'm just starting with it. TopTal, or TopTal, I don't know how to pronounce things, is a site where you can find or post yourself as a freelance programmer. And they get great rates, they work mainly with Americans and you'll see the companies such as Airbnb, Zendesk, Pfizer, Hewlett Packard, massive Fortune 500 companies hire talent from TopTal to work at home. And you can earn very respectable wages here. You can easily earn six figures per year if you learn some programming. And learning programming is free too, so you don't need to spend any money to learn programming and you can make six figures online working for a Fortune 500 company. Really easy stuff. But let's say you don't have time or you don't want to learn technical skills, whatever. That doesn't matter, it's fine. Another great site to find freelance positions is Upwork. Upwork 
www.ericsmartcoachingcenter.com. And you'll see that right there. And again, you can hire freelancers or post yourself as a freelancer. Now what you would do is you could scroll down somewhere on here. Basically, you'll see how it works and you can sign up if you're freelancing. You see that and it says, get hired. Find rewarding projects and get hired quickly. And you can do all this and you can say, ready to get hired, apply as a freelancer right there at the bottom. Big arrows. Now you can apply to work as a freelancer. This is if you want a job. Again, the jobs on Upwork, you'll wanna make sure you sort for things that are project based because you can't adhere to a certain hourly standard. No employer is gonna wanna hire somebody who drops everything to attend to a baby. I know I wouldn't and I'm pretty lenient with people. Other jobs you can do is you can actually be an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is it's what I am and it's what I advocate everybody be, <laughs> not work for the man. I think freelancing is the way to do everything. I believe everybody's a free agent. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, now the, the areas I would suggest you go into are, you could go in and start an Amazon business. Now, you can learn more about starting an Amazon business through this video series that I did with Tanner J. Fox. Tanner J. Fox goes through exactly how he's making millions of dollars with his Amazon business and how he got started in this video series, which I'll have my uh, Filipinos link to somewhere around this video screen. Also, what I advocate and what I do is I do affiliate marketing. I travel the world and do affiliate marketing, which is commission only marketing. It's basically online sales. And I recommend other people's products just like Expedia or Uber or Hotels.com do. They recommend people to go to hotels and they get a commission if somebody books a flight or a hotel for them. That's what I do. I recommend other people's products and I make a commission for connecting people. And uh, that's a very lucrative position for me. And you can learn more about how to do that through a link that my Filipinos will post somewhere. So if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. If you wanna learn more about how you can work for yourself and make money online, and also comment if you like the use of my props or if you have some other topic that you want me to discuss in future videos.